one. Whoops. <laughs> it's already begun. Okay, hello! We're here! <laughs> hello, everyone! Uh, welcome, welcome, one and all. Uh, my name is Alexandra. I am the community manager at Kid Fox Games, and uh, I'm here with Lou and Ray, and we are going to be going over the beautiful mods that were just made in the Caves of Cud uh, mod jam which just happened last week. Uh, it was very exciting. Uh, for those of you who were here last time, it's going to be pretty similar to how we uh, did it last time, which is we're going to talk a little bit about the, the jam, and uh, we're going to go through each of the mods one by one and give you a little preview as to what, what they're all about. Uh, some of them are quests, so we're going to give you a little taste of that. We're not going to complete the quests, uh, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, Lou and Ray, do you want to introduce the, uh, jam? Yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks for having us on the stream. Um, I can talk a little bit about, like, the theme for this, this jam and, uh, kind of what inspired it. The theme this time around was vignettes, which is, like, a little bit more conceptual and abstract maybe than the last time around when we did the Monster Mash. And it was kind of inspired by the little scenes that you can find in the game. Sometimes you'll see like a little shrine and then there'll be like a corpse next to the shrine and it's got like armor and like a rusted weapon or something. And, and you kind of come up with a little story when you see it. Uh, and we thought that kind of thing was really cool. The most classic example is the, um, the miner's corpse in the waterlogged tunnel who was like mining for Jasper, bizarre scuttling noise, etc. cetera. Um, <laughs> and uh, so we kind of thought it would be cool to hold a jam along those lines. And people took it in all kinds of different directions. Cool. And so how do you think it, it went overall? Like how, uh, what kind of mods did we see this time around? Or how was this jam maybe like different from the last one? Um, this mod, like, we, this, this mod jam, uh, we did it this time was for a week instead of a weekend, which, um, was in part because we were allowing, uh, scripting this time, um, and I wanted to make sure that people had time to actually, like, test their stuff. Mm. Um, I feel like this time it was, it went pretty good. It was definitely less, um... I feel like the, the the monster mash one was was very. There were a lot of people, and it was maybe a little chaotic, like the like for the entire. <laughs> this was a little little more subdued, but um, totally makes sense given the factors that surrounded the the previous jam. Like you know, Ted releasing a whole new version and all of that, um, sort of. I feel like helped sort of. Yeah, yeah, because I guess the Creatures of the Seventh Plague was uh, after the Monster Mash jam, was it? Was it? God, yes, mm. but the, the beta <laughs> was released before it, so like people knew that it was like happening very soon. Um, fortunately, uh, I mean, it was it. Um, fortunately, like assembling this pack went pretty well, um, much faster than the previous time. Um, <laughs> Was that just because there were less there. mods, or...? Um, in part less mods. I feel like part of it was also that we had what we were... We already had a framework down. Like, we didn't have to code up a whole bespoke wish menu again. We could just reuse what we did last time. Um... Yeah. And not having to support two versions of the game. Mm. <laughs> yes, that also helped. But yeah, it was really cool to, like... The first one we ran, we were like, you know, this one really, like, we'll see how this one goes. And if it goes well, maybe we'll do another one. And that one went really well. And then this time we were able to use, like, a lot of the same processes that we did the first time around. And it went really smoothly. Cool. Are, and are there plans to do another one at some point? Maybe it's a little too early for me to ask, but... Uh, I want to do another one. We have to. 
<laughs> it's an obligation at this point. It's a must. Um, mm -hmm. I don't. I, I'm like I would love to secretly like join one of these, uh, depending on the timing, of course. But yeah. I feel like I would like to at least a little basic, like something maybe more from the the Monster Jam, where I could like replace a sprite or something like that. That would be kind of cool. Or I guess make a sprite. For sure. Really? Yeah. Because I feel like it's a it's a really interesting way of just like breaking into the that just like wanting to do your first mod or something like that it's a it's a really good way of doing that with something like this where there's people that can help and there's a space you can actually like talk about it um so it's really fabulous what what y'all have uh, created with this because i think it's a it's a really good thing to keep going thank you a lot of the uh yeah a lot of the like uh contributors to the game itself and the experienced modders in the community have been like a massive help to all of the people who are like just dipping their toes into modding and stuff. For for this jam, it was a lot of people's first time like making a mod with code in it. So it was really cool to see that kind of like, you know, people helping each other out and figuring things out together. And it makes me happy, warms my little heart. Yeah, shout out to everyone in the community who uh, who helped out with this for sure. Um, I, I think we we are ready to dive in to the to the to the mods and excuse uh, excuse me everyone in in uh, uh, chat if if uh, there may be some reorientating needed uh, for how I do this but I, I think it will be less chaotic than last time I just remember everything on the screen at once attacking each other and exploding and it was beautiful. Um, I would be surprised if it ended like uh, if it, it ended up as chaotic as that one, but you never know. You never know what we'll find. This is all I didn't actually see any of these mods yet, so this is I'm going in kind of blind, which is exciting. Should I do roleplay mode or wander mode? I don't remember what we did last time to make it work. Uh, there are extra wishes in the wish menu to like make things less aggressive towards you if you just want to use those. Otherwise, wander mode would work. Okay, well, I guess wander mode maybe makes most sense, just and then we can adjust things. Um, I'm just going to quickly... I don't know if this really matters for what we're doing, but we may be going questing. I don't know. Um, <laughs> let's do... Boring. <laughs> um i guess yeah yeah start in jopa because there's uh one of the mods you'll find something in jopa i believe oh yes okay so it's control shift w there we go okay so we could put on gog mode if we want i guess Probably yeah, not a bad idea. idea. Let's just do them all. Uh, no, uh, that, well, we don't want those. Nice. You'll want to toggle. You calm might want to do again. gear up. Toggle calm. Yeah, turn it off. That means that the thing, like the the creatures, won't move around. Hold on. You want Where's it false. It? So one more time. Yes. Okay. Are you sure? It still says. Oh says no! I'm looking on the. Fast. Okay, it's... yeah. <laughs> the wish itself doesn't change. Yeah. Okay, Maybe so. Maybe something for next time. So these none of those are. We don't want to do any. We don't need to do any of these. We're gonna. You could I... hit gear up. It'll just give you a bunch of levels, and it might teleport you somewhere else on the map. Uh, but you can just walk back to Jopa. Because you're in God mode. Oh my God. Oh, no. I also no. think it gives you a uh, recoiler. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, now you're in the, the right next to the. Wait, it sent me somewhere else? Yeah, just that's how the wish works. It was the simplest way for us to do it. Um. Can I get back to Tropa? Yeah, check your inventory. Um. Oh. The, the oh, no energy. The recorder cell. with no cell. Oh, good. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> it'll be fine. You won't get lost in god mode, so you can just go back east. It's 
That's right over here, right? The under the mountain. Yeah, right below the mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Modded caves of cut is so much fun. <laughs> Cause there's no risk. How do I do this again? I'm sorry, y'all. Um, uh, if you have a numpad, it would be the plus on your numpad. There we go. Okay. Uh, so we're looking for something in Jopa. Is it just going to appear somewhere that I have to find? Um, no, uh, check, uh, go, go up to, um, the cat, the Sisyphus, or however it's pronounced, and go look. Does it say? No, it doesn't say. I don't know what the best way to, like, demonstrate this without, like, causing problems. What do I you think, think if you chat with I think if you trade with with Stesiphus, you will notice something in their inventory if you if you chat with them and then from there select trade. Yeah, there's hmm. there's some kind of weird artifact. Very strange. Can we buy this? We don't have any money. You can also uh wish it in using the wish menu, but um this is just where it appears naturally in the world. Can I wish for more money? You can, but also, um, I don't know. I don't recall the wish off the top of my head. Which one would be? If you better? go the uh, face harmonic, if you go back up near the top there, the face harmonic wavering laser pistol. Oh. Uh, that is what you will find in Stesiphus's inventory. It's just appeared there above you. Yeah, so if you look at that, it'll have a fun little description. And um, it, it, it really expands on the relationship between cats and laser pistols in the world of Caves of Cud. We all know that cats have feelings about lasers. Um, and so... I think this is one's going on. I guess you've got to identify it. Oh no! Oh no! no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. June to July's in chat. I think they're they're the creator of that that mod. If it yes. Based... I'm sorry. I broke your mod. <laughs> um. Try wishing for it again. Yeah, we can just wish again. There. And then if you just do Control W. Sorry. Um, yeah, do control W first. Oh. And then type ID all, no spaces. And now check your inventory. There you go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Saved. Can we look at it now? Okay, there we go. The metallic pistol is painted pink and a faint scent of fish lingers around the grip. Oddly, the pistol shows no sign of battle. As you start to look away, its form scatters into static in the corner of your eye. This weapon uses more power to fire, but hits, uh, but hits attract a friend from the astral plane. 400 pr plus reputation with the cats. You can also press S to recall the story, uh, like to get open the recall story. Oh. The lasers just fuse past astral flesh, and the tabby follows. I think this one's really cute. Aww. It's treated to glowfish. So cute. It's also extremely powerful. <laughs> yes. Which is kind of interesting. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we... Is this a usable gun? Yeah, you'll need a cell, so go back up to the world. Um, and then Control-W. 
and then search uh, nuclear cell with the space in between. Oh god, I don't remember how to spell nuclear. You're gonna hate me. Is it nuclear? No, like that. Nuclear. And you, yeah. <laughs> with a, sp uh, yeah. There you go. To your right. Oh, I got yeah. it. And I don't want to shoot in... anyone here, though. And then go into your inventory. Uh, your equipment, rather. Sorry. Oh. So, E, and then go to your missile weapon. Yep. Then enter. Install cell. There you go. Ooh. I gotta find something to shoot, I guess. Yeah. You! <laughs> oh no! The poor farmer! How do I even... Uh, that'd be That's F. F. Ah, yeah, you're, you're done! Boom! Oh, it's a cat! Whoa! A cat appeared! And he disintegrated into thin air! Yes, uh, in god mode you do a lot of damage when you hit things. Astral Tabby, hello. But yeah, now I have a Tabby friend. Are you a friend? Yeah, they're one of your companions now. Since you can like direct, yep. <laughs> Aww. I hope I hope you don't get hurt by all the other things I'm gonna spawn in. But you're my friend now. That's very cute. All right, should we move on to the next one? Yes. Yeah. Maybe we should just go down the list kind of from top to bottom. That one just starts, it, it appears right in the first area you appear in the game. But... Oh. A, gen a geomagnetic folding chair from Chair Enthusiast. Oh, get out of the way. <laughs> you can push them around. Yeah. Oh, I can sit on it. Yes. Wait, what? You pass a painted woven tunic, an iron vine reaper, a pair of sandals, some ashes, and an air... F oh, that the guy died. That's yes. his corpse. Yep. <laughs> I was like, how did that get there on the chair? So, feel free to pick up the chair. Oh, I can... Yeah, press G. When you're on over it, yep. Yeah. And then you can go down... Oh, it's a weapon. Yes. Yeah, so if if you're familiar with the geomagnetic disc, it's a weapon in the game that it's a throwing weapon and you can throw it and it'll bounce from enemy to enemy <laughs> and then it'll come back to you. Oh my goodness. And so folding chairs are an item in the game that can sometimes appear with certain mods that normally only show up on weapons. Like you can get a flaming folding chair or a freezing <laughs> folding chair and you can hit people with the folding chair. Um, so this is like... A very, very advanced combat folding chair. Yeah, I can see that. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. It might, if you want to test it out, you can probably. Well, first, we were, uh, there's another part of this mod. Um, so if you go back into Jopa and then click, uh, if you press backspace. Um, oh. the point of interest menu will now display the comfiest and the nearest chair. <laughs> ah. Which I think is, is amazing. Cool. It's so good. Should I pick yeah, up this chair? It's a really well? nice little, uh... <laughs> it's mine now. Oh, is he gonna get mad? No. Not yet, at least. <laughs> it's a fun little quality of life feature um sitting in comfortable oh. chairs makes you better at tinkering so uh also the really comfy chairs uh let you recover hp faster it's a movable wharf for the ass this game's writing really no one else does it like Caves of Good. <laughs> yeah, so can we... Th let's throw this chair at someone. 
Yes, you can probably, um, if if you don't want to throw it to any of the Jopins, you can probably go wander in the salt desert for a bit, and you'll find people. Oh, there's an alligator. Let's get him. Ah, yeah. Can I, how, what's the range like? Oh, okay, we can throw this thing pretty far. That's F. That's Boom. The, that's the missile weapon. Oh, shoot. Uh, click T to throw. Yeah. Oh, I see. Or, okay. Now you're firing the... Yeah. <laughs> it's dead! Give him the chair! Yeah, the animation for that one, the the latest update added in the new uh, throw animations, and the, yeah. the, the folding chair has a really fun throwing animation. Boop! <laughs> That's great. <laughs> chair OP. Very... All right, let's do the primer. I guess this is a story, or this is a uh, quest? It is a book. No, not you. So this book is added. The mod uh, adds this little handwritten book, and it will just appear randomly in any of the places that books can appear randomly in the game. So it's just another piece of little authored storytelling that finds its way randomly into the world. By Six Shrew. Yes, yeah, Six never True the is. Who has treated him kindly. Sorry, go ahead. Six True is um, one of the plant merchants. Ah. Okay. In the game. <laughs> However, in the author's experience, the opposite proves to be true. More often than not, the guest is under the impression that no one is entitled to everything, and that the host. Ha everything the host has to offer and would seek to redress any perceived slight of an incessant pestering of the poor host if they do not escalate to outright violence. Sounds like uh, someone's been hosting some parties and have been not happy about it. <laughs> in the jungles of Cud, especially, there is often wisdom in discretion and in appeasing those who would be more trouble otherwise. Getting into the theory. I do like how whoever wrote this really captured the like uh, tone and structure of a cud text. Because I feel like yeah. that's pretty hard to do. It's definitely not as simple as you might think it is. I really feel like they captured as well like the whole... Like, not just the, the writing style, but also the kind of, like, bizarre world of, like, you know, here's this plant who is, like, writing this text about, like, how to host other beings uh, through the lens of, like, nutrition. Mm -hmm. It's so, it's so cool. The goat in Sweetleaf is the prototypical foodstuff for animals. <laughs> a new goat will eventually be created if enough goats are brought together <laughs> in a process analogous to pollination, if it was wet and bloody. Incredible. Whoever did this mod, they must be like a writer themselves. I don't know if they are, but I, they're giving off that vibe. Bananas are then stuff. retrieved from the banana tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something bad dead generally happens when you put the banana out in the sun for a year. Yeah. Honey obtained from a bear. <laughs> Honeycombs, which are bare egg sacks left upon the trees. <laughs> <laughs> Killing honeycombs is very easy and painless. <laughs> <laughs> 
Does anyone want to make this at home themselves? I love goat and sweet leaf. <laughs> it's delicious. Z Z was was asked to never cook again. The end. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Bravo. Um, there's another tome. Yes. Tyrannosaurus Revs Official Strategy Guide by Lost Media by Doctor Bread. Oh, the Doctor. Yeah, this is another one that adds a, a book to the game. Dinosaur revs. <laughs> Ancient techniques and instruction in reference to a work of lost media, apparently surrounding a motif of combat between archosaurs using contemporary motorized carriages. All right. What if uh, the creatures of Caves of Cud uh, found as they uh, rifled through the layer cake of history a uh, strategy game for a strategy guide for uh, an early video game about dinosaurs driving cars? <laughs> That needs to be a game, though. Like, amazing title. It does it already exist, I guess I should ask. It doesn't, right? It's, this is a pure creation of the writer? I actually don't know. Because someone needs to take that name otherwise, because that's gold. It is a very good name. The game's comp competition is outright Cretaceous. Pro gaming secrets that'll make the difference between evolution and extinction. Like the Flintstone jalopies, death chariots, drifting. Was it not Sun Tzu who said that in war one is to avoid what is strong and strike what is weak? I have been informed that it is not, in fact, a real game. Uh, I don't want to I don't want to read through the whole thing because I want to encourage you yeah y'all to, to read it yourselves and discover the discover the text um, but very good very funny um, are we we're probably okay to start spawning in some things right like this rusted powered exoskeleton from ancient exoskeleton C67F uh, oh yeah sure this one's really cool. Oh, I guess I didn't really place it in the best spot. Y'all can see it up there, right? There we go. What is this? You I thought it was an item? I guess I didn't know what it was. Um, it's yelling at me, though, I think. <laughs> Active fact dense, <laughs> lingua, adquisition, function, org shop, linga. Um, hello? Sorry? Oh, language acquired. Hello. Hmm. Oh, they're offering some assistance. Looking for a, a member of their creator species, which is not us, I guess. Oh, okay. They're going to turn into an item to be more transportable. Oh, so now I can pick it up. Oh, okay. Okay. You can equip it. I can equip it. So oh. if you check your equipment... Oh, it's worn on uh, our back. On your... Yes. I really like this one. It's like, I don't in um in a lot of sci-fi art, you'll see like you know the trope of like the 
the character who like died while they were wearing some kind of like exo suit that like made them walk around and stuff but then like the exo suit keeps going afterwards and there's like a zombie wearing the exo suit or whatever and it just keeps going around but in this one the exo suit is friendly it's it's you know it's it's outlasted its creators it's just chilling you can be friends that's nice I do. Yeah, I've, so far, they've to... been pretty friendly, friendly mods. Yes. <laughs> you'll need to uh, put in a, a nuclear cell if you want to uh, get the. Uh... I'll spawn a few more. Uh... You have to walk over. Yep. And now you, now you have three. So Excellent. that should be good. All right. Well, are you serious? The fish is not happy with you. Is it because I'm walking around with an exoskeleton? No, because he attacked some of the brethren. Well, the chair with you. Boom. <laughs> it it dodged the chair. What the hell? Okay, there we go. <laughs> don't mess with me. I know T and I know F, so you don't want to mess with either of those buttons. I'm gonna. No, is you there, really don't. Uh, I'm gonna move over here a little bit so we get the center of the screen. Um, okay, so now we are we're, we're exoskeletoned up. We're astral astral catted up. What more? Water bandits. From Rainbow Dra Dragoon. Hello. We got some creatures. This is exciting. And there's a worm as well. Yes. Is this a Let's dune themed, it. perhaps? Oh, oh, I believe oh, these creatures no. will appear in the desert. Oh, no. Yeah. Who killed what there? The salt wormling died. Oh, the water bandit attacked it. Yeah. Looks Get like back it. Here. No, don't run away. I think it might have been your cat. I think your cat might have been. Maybe. The... Oh. Okay. Can we talk now? Okay, there we go. By the sun, you're ugly. My god. It's a little rude. Bronze dagger and a silver nugget. That's. I don't want either of those things. Let's go look at them. Omens of wear and tear powdered the vagabond's cloak, wrought by the journey from her far-flung nest. Behind her veil, an eye scours the salts for one thing, to slake both thirst and greed at once. A coveted fresh water foreign to the Mograi's climbs. Did I pronounce that right? Maybe cut pronunciation is pretty whatever you make of it. Yeah, every time I ask Jason and Brian how to pronounce things, they're like, whatever. I'm like, not helpful, but okay. Precisely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the first rule of pronouncing things in case of cut is to have fun and be yourself. I love so that. So true. Is he not aggro anymore? But was the uh, was the worm an integral part to the mod? Maybe I should spawn another one, perhaps. Yeah, Maybe spawn another one. It. Yeah, and then look um, before you move. Uh, all right. The salt krakens, dist distant kin, wormlings. They're just a little guy. It's a little guy. They're, They're so beetle cute. jerky. I love the tile. Uh, it's so good. It's just a baby. Physical features. Bite. So cute. Don't... Can I... T can we talk? Idly undulating. Very good. Oh. So real. Hopefully they'll stay alive throughout this. Ah! Okay, who's attacking? Salt bandit. Yeah, it says the water bandit switches to aggressive stance. Yeah, go, to, go attack them. 
Try attacking the wonder water bandit. No. No! Hey! Did the worm die again, though? Maybe, perhaps. Looks like it. Oh. Hard for a little worm in this yeah. big world. Oh, no, he's there, he's there. Oh, there oh. we go. Yay! I can't pet him, but I guess he's part of our party now. Excellent. I have the chair and the gun. Nothing can stop us. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh... Zotionen, the mechanical guardian by Cardinal Actually, Method. Should I skip that one? No, first, go. This is. You'll want to calm for this one. Just to be prepared. I thought so calm was what, on. No, calm is off. That's why they're able to move around. Okay, calm it is. So we've entered the portion of the. Uh, we kind of organ organize the list where all of the ones that spawn things are up at the top and now you're into the ones where it's going to teleport you somewhere ah. to encounter something that will that has a particular location that has been added to generating in the world very cool well, get ready to teleport okay the astral cat came with Oh, this thing over here. Yeah, the thing in the center. Hello? Oh, Phil Carr guts. Look at this thing. Rivulets of moss cross chrome panels. I think the Carr guts thing is a interaction with a different mod. Oops. Should I spawn something else? No, it's fine. It just something to work on with the the, the pack. Oh, okay. It's admired by robots for performing feats of heroism, admired by insects, hated by water barons. Gigantic pile driver, gigantic scoped fusion powered railgun, unpiloted, unpowered, and damaged. Do I have more cells? Oh, remove cell from car guts. Wait, what? The cell is called car guts. It's an interaction with a different mod. It is fine. Oh, okay. It'll, it'll... Pop the car guts. Oh, you out. might be able to. You might be able to enter this. Oh, I'm in like a little like science lab. Look at me. Got some scribbled notes, box crayons. That might because the note might be important. Yeah, I think you can read that. <laughs> Robert, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> yeah, I really love that. This, uh, yeah. Fusion power station, hydraulic brass fulminator. There's lots of things going on in here. But yeah, if you were um, able to repair it, then you'd be probably able to drive it around. But I can't repair it with regular cells. It needs a special one? It does. Um, and it might also be useful to look at the uh, other the other creatures that have been sitting around. Oh, okay. Are these custom as well, these these creatures? Are the apes no. Are they're all... Uh -oh. um, Whoops. They're calm, so they're not going to attack you back. But if you look at them... Just press L? Yeah. They're followers of the... Um, of the... the I'm not going to try to pronounce that. <laughs> Zototin. Precisely. Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> yes, these are tough, tough dudes and dudettes. 
And this is a robot alligator over here. Mechanical Elder Maze Beard. Rocket Turret Tinker. But yeah, yeah, this that's would be why... a very chaotic area if you had not calmed them before approaching. Yeah, because they would go after me immediately, right? Because they're all hostile. Yeah. Yes, and they're all pretty... They're all pretty high-level um, robots. But are they high enough level for the chair? <laughs> <laughs> Tetra Zeno Xenon Glass. Some juicy words in this game, let me tell you. Yes. So did the modder create this whole zone themselves? Like for the this Um whole They scene? created the uh they made it work uh they made it work with the sort of natural generation, the the sort of like flower circle and the um all of that is their work hmm. but then they they integrated it with the the world generation stuff of the uh the game oh they're crystal flowers yes very cool very nice this is like a, definitely a challenge for those that want to is this what is this oh oh i Oh, sorry. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right, on to the next one, I say. Let's teleport yeah. somewhere else. The casino! Oh, um, okay. Yeah, we'll go. Cacophony made this. Or Cacophony by Monopolator. You have to look. Oh. Oh. You pass by a slot machine. Oh, hello. I become confused. The casino is a bewildering place. I don't understand. Woo kalama. Woo mama. <laughs> what? I can't examine things while I'm confused. Oh, no. I feel uneasy. Oh, no. They're all like... The world keeps changing. Oh, is it when I step on... what? Oh, those are power lines. I see. Okay. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> this is the, the confusion status effect in the game. It, it makes it so that every turn you can't really tell where things are and you can't tell the names of things. Uh, but the casino area will at times inflict the confusion status effect on you because it's just that kind of place. <laughs> I'm trying to get, like, over to these, uh... D Hello? Oh, it's a statue. I thought it was an actual person. I love the palm... The, if you the look... Trees. Palm trees. There's a Up car? near the top of the screen, there's something interesting. A beetle chariot. Oh. That's the grand prize. Yes. I guess if I go up to the machines, it'll make me confused. Because I can't look at them. Yeah, I, w I wonder if the mod, you know, has some kind of way of dealing with this area somehow the players would have to discover i actually don't know oh. but you can uh win the car and drive it oh my goodness that's amazing yeah i guess uh it gives me uh we'll have to download and figure it out it gives me a lot of nostalgia for the um the team rocket casinos in the pokemon games on game boy oh yeah hmm. I can see that.
But yeah, it's also good that we uh, wished calm because here, because if you like hold alt, um, the uh, the the gun oh, go down to. Uh, actually, that's not a case because we were in wander mode. But um, if you just rock up here, the uh, the guns might not be particularly happy. Oh, if I t if I look at the guns. Oh, the turrets! Like, if you show up with like not playing wander mode, the turrets are not neutral. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, the slot machine tile is very, very cool. Chad is is agreeing. I love this. This is very cool. And are these just doors? Random doors? No, that's just a, a wall tile. That's Or a pillar, I should say. Yeah, very cool. All right. On to the next world. Trailing Manerbrium. Astral Medusa. This one is. Snake Van Goghs. You might want to wait until your confusion wears off for this one. Hmm. I just walk back and forth. To... Yeah, just wander around. Just not over those purple things. I think I'm okay. Out of it. Okay, there yep. we go. I don't remember if that chest is part of this or if it's just a random. Oh. Looks like a random chest. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's burning the ga uh, the burning the garbage. Oops. <laughs> Nothing like um, a little bit of burning garbage. Yeah, is we that, love it. Is that gonna mess things up with the? Nah, it'll be fine. Uh, go check the. Uh, let's go look at that. I'm seeing a lot of uh, purple. Yeah. Yeah. Trailing manerbrium. The sight shouts danger from your most ancient mind. Or it's just a bunch of saucy, saucy ankles. That's what I, that's what I'm also <laughs> seeing. It's like, you know. <laughs> oh, that garbage oh, so is really I believe blown up. You can, uh, I believe you can climb up the trailing manubriums. Oh. Yeah, normally it will force you, but. Oh, there we go. I think I went up. Oh, no. Yes. Yeah, keep going up. Like, yeah. Hmm. Sky Medusa underbelly, two strata high. That's what it keeps saying. Okay. There's a yes. dangerous. Oh yes, we do want to proceed to the cell call enzyme. Oh, okay. The cat has followed me through this mess. But yes, normally. Uh, you will be just pulled up. Oh, probably because I'm in wander mode. It probably didn't let me do that, right? Uh, probably because you're in your god mode, yeah. Might be because you have calm turned on, which prevents other things from taking actions. That too. So there's something in the middle of this level, and there's something down near the bottom as well. Oh. Is that a portal? An astral planu planu form. Fifty-eight drams of raw ego. Oh my god! Can I? Can I? I can look. Resplendent with gravity and purpose. No mouth is visible on its body, but as its eye makes contact, you feel a sickening tug. Well, that's not good. Can I collect I'm the? I'm pretty sure. Before you do anything more with the uh, planula form, you, you might want to check out the thing down at the bottom. I believe that it's just in the interest oh. of the live stream. Outer yeah. ganglion. Alien brain matter. 
I think you'll want to put the raw ego back in the, uh... Uh-oh. Oh, it's out of power now. Should I... Yeah. The whole thing. Okay. Should I enter it now? You should uh, bring the uh, outer ganglion with you. Yeah. Oh. Shoot, what did it say? Oh, you are famished. Oh, I need... I'm hungry. Mm-hmm. Um, that's fine. Okay, so now I'll enter it with the ganglion. Yes. It's worth noting that this liquid that's all over the floor in that area, if you weren't in god mode, would be very, very dangerous to step in. So mm -hmm. that whole area is uh, can be interesting to navigate. But now you're in the control, Locus. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'll walk through it. Ugh. Oh. Could I have walked around that whole thing? <laughs> Maybe I could have. Yeah. <laughs> I did it the hard way. Hello? Control lattice. Oh. Why don't you try sitting in that? Accessing the pilot control console requires permanent insertion of the outer ganglion. How did you know I needed that? <laughs> yes, proceed. Access deities flash in the affirmative. Press A to use activated abilities. Gain an activated... Oh! 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 So yeah, now you are piloting the uh, astral panula form. <laughs> it's a funny thing. Uh, and I can and I can attack with mental mutation. Oh, it's an AOE. Oh. I guess I can't. Uh... Yeah, let's go back. Uh, I think you can take the, uh, try moving. I think you might oh. have to use the teleport action. Oh. Okay, so teleport here? Oh! oh that's a little weird. It seems like maybe something is not quite working. I could also be doing something completely wrong. Oh. What if I... Oh. Just pre You can press 5 to not move. If you, if you want to wait. While driving. Oh, and I'm hitting Butcher Corpse. Does that work? Five? And a five on the yeah. numpad. Oh. <laughs> no, like while driving. I don't think it'll turn out. I don't think it'll. I don't think time <laughs> passes in the same way. I'm just splashing around in the goop. Oh, there we go. Okay. So let's teleport, I guess, like, somewhere over here? Oh. Maybe try putting it up against the... Um, like, trying to teleport to where the stairs are. Are these the stairs here? I don't remember. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You're almost there. How do I get out of here? 
Down this I way? I think you can... Nope, that's back up. I think they're they're in the um like the circles. Uh Yeah, try going down now. Like down a level, go up back up to. Is this the stairs to go up or down? Oh no, these stairs to go up. Those are the stairs to go down. Try pressing the plus button on your numpad. Yes. Ugh. Because it kind of but like grabbed me way. up, right? There were no stairs. Yeah, but I think they count as stairs. So if you um, walk around the, the the circles, I think you will come across. You will pass by something. Yeah. Oh. Try pressing the plus button now, and see if that works. Uh. I don't know how you get out then. Mm. We'll just use the wish menu. That works. Okay. What would I? What command would I use to get out of this? Like the the wish, like the the mod jam menu. Oh, the mod jam menu. Okay. Because it'll just teleport you to the next thing. Right. All right. So Templar outpost. Yeah. Oh, I'm still piloting the thing though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is me now. Sorry. I'm only going to trade. You could probably yes, wish on. You could probably wish calm now if you want things to get exciting. Or at least to have them move around because we're in mon wonder mode, so they're not upset with you. Oh, there we go. They're moving around now. I guess I should talk to someone? Someone gonna talk to me or maybe not because I'm in the thing. Oh dear. Oh no. They're attacking. They're implanted corrupt Templars. They refuse to speak. Yeah, this is a new creature added by this mod. I think I think this is a cool little mod. It adds like a a little outpost of the the Putus Templar who are kind of like the the villains of the main quest and uh some of them some of them have become mutated and they're attacking each other oh my god the color too was sucked out of her irises by her tangled lineage and her abnormal mutations coursed across her body intertwining with chrome polished augmentations they have ghostly flames very cool. Yeah, I like the skull, the skull face. Don't attack me. I'm a giant purple thing. Woof. <laughs> it might be easier if you ditch driving the, uh, so if you exit Woof. pilot seat. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. Wait, are they still attacking me? Uh, can no, maybe go just back teleport to... back? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Although something's going on over there. This yeah, guy... I think they're still trying to attack them. Like, attack what you were riding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Does the sign say anything? Sorry. It reads, go away. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. It died. Oh, wait. Another one of those. Uh... That's where it went when you ejected. Oh, I see. I was going to say, I'm like, how did you end up here? Cybernetics. Oh, no. They're still coming after me. Oh. Oh dear. I'm alright. I'm invincible, I think. Looks like it's yes. time for the chair! Oh, it bounced off both of them! That was great. A little bit of chain damage there. 
Very good. Was that it for this mod? Or is there a... Yeah, I think there's some other little things that players can discover in this area, but we can leave that to them. Yeah, there's something going on with that water weep over there, but yeah, we don't want to we don't want to give it all away. Uh an interesting cup. An interesting cup by Big Simple. Yes. All right. I think Big Simple's in chat. He was earlier, at least. Um, oh, there's the water bandit. Oh, hello. Was this a combination mod that it also included the water bandit? No, I think that's just a random, uh, a random spawn. Oh, nice. Oh, is this the cup over here? Hey, you can see it. Oh. It's Take a empty. look. Holds the warmth like a gentle hug. Thousands of flavored drinks brewed and savored. This cup knows friend and is one. Holding a beverage, this cup provides a bonus to reputation of performing a water ritual, as well as a bonus to examining and disassembling artifacts. Ooh, that's a good item. Big Simple is here. Water Bandit wants to steal your cup. Yeah, I mean, this is the most ideal way to hold the water. This one's also got a story you can recall. John Hintersman found the cup on Tom's body. John enjoyed a heavily steeped black tea with no sugar. John enjoyed the cup for many years, but in the twilight of his life, he sought to put the cup back in its place of origin for no reason other than to be accessible for its next owner. Aww. The rigor mortis hands. Oh no. Chelsea Gabbins. <laughs> R.I.P. Chelsea Gabbins. Hot whiskey. Oh, baby. That'll cool the throat out. Very cool. If you take a look at some of the other, um, the things like the, uh, the hookah right next to. This hookah feels trying as if to impress out of jealousy or reverence. They wish they were the cup. So true. No coaster felt worthy. The table is grateful. <laughs> this oven has only ever known one recipe anything else feels like an invasion it's also a good chance to eat something if you want to get rid of the uh, famished oh yes good idea What do I have? I mean, if you go up to the uh, um, the oven, you can eat a meal. Very good. Nice little little pause point for the adventure. I like that the building kind of looks like a little cup. Oh yeah. That is very good. Intentional, I assume. The water bandit's like, give me some of that. And it's like, no, you're not getting in here. Unless we spawn more water bandits. Okay, send pet slowly, slowly by Swan Lord. What do we got going on here? I think this one, I forgot to rename the wish. So it doesn't actually take you to send pet, oh. but it takes you to uh, somebody else who might. 
Oh no, it does take it... you to Sen Pat. Sorry. And this this uh, sprite was created here. by uh, this is a mod, or Sen yeah. Pat is a yeah. character. Oh okay. Uh, I have cut mod jam. Many names. Some have called me weak. Markings lace the great shell that covers old Sempat. It's like a little like tortoise man, I guess, or I think it's a uh, snail. Oh, snail. Okay, that makes sense. It'll yeah, it's just a, a wandering desert inhabitant who's moving slow and carrying some custom items, I believe, as well. Pretty cool. Shotgun shells. I think the items are way? equipped. So yeah. You can't uh, access them. Oh, I except can't. Except through. You can beguile them, I believe. Or you could wish swap. You could uh, use yeah. the swap in the wish menu to uh, swap bodies. Yeah, now you can take a look at your own equipment and uh, see that you've got some stuff. Pearl staff. For is the rainbow not a blessing shared by all? I mean, some say that, you know, we have to give the rainbow back to God, which I disagree with, but, you know. Rainbow, ancient great helm in the shape of a slug face. Very cool. Oh, that's exactly what it says. Yeah, bearing the visage of a snail. I love that. And it's blinged out. We love that. And, uh, and a carapace. 400 plus reputation with tortoises. I guess so. This item cannot break or crack. Tortoises love my carapace. <laughs> so true. Now you uh, might want to switch back. Oh, right. Uh, we could continue on the rest of the game with... Uh... True. Oh. Hold on, did I? How did I do that? You need to walk up next to... There you go. Okay. Oh, Big Simple also says the house has a coaster. I think we we missed the coaster, but we saw the table. That'll be uh, that'll be uh, if you uh, for yours to discover. For when you download the mod pack and discover the coaster. Precisely. Uh, ambivalent animators. Well, it's a big one. It's taking a while to build the zone. Uh oh. <laughs> Tells me there's a lot of stuff in it, maybe. Hey, oh, it's uh, really building that zone. <laughs> Is this going to make my computer explode? I mean, <laughs> hope not. Oh, um, do I want to force it to stop and build immediately? I guess it won't load properly, though, if I do that, right? Yeah, but it looks like it's not building properly anyways. So let's try yes, and then if it's not working... Oh, there we go. So Uh, snake, snake fan goes in chat. Uh, so maybe let us know if this is what it's supposed to look like. What are you? I take a look. A shoot crab. Hello. Take a look farther. Um, 
farther out to your uh down yep uh one more oh i'm sorry that's okay an animated Take a wall. Look at that wall what's up with the wall it's moving like that wall's moving to your left it's moved away what am i miss what go left and up like through yep up oh i walked through that wall oh that's because you have god mode oh <laughs> that's all moving Some walls walked past you earlier. I'm going crazy. I like don't. They're they're not in the area where you are right now. They're probably in the middle, kind of at the top of the map. Would be my guess. Yep, oh, there's, there's one oh, over to your yeah, right. Yeah, I see him. I see you him. See that moving yeah. wall? Yeah, get over there. See what's up. Oh, All look, kinds look. of moving furniture. Oh, everything's moving. What's yep. going on? Look. Tried to talk to. Oh, it's a mannequin. Animated mannequin. Are you friend? Try to talk. Uh... Maker used to take us to a camp where another maker lived with another family of children like us. I would like to find this camp. Do you remember where it was? And it's a quest. All right. The animated refugee. Ref refuge. <laughs> what is remember? What is remember? Wood and fiberglass. Oh, there's like a little chair. A massage chair or something. Animated carcass needer. Oh, they're all on the journey to find the camp. Okay. Yeah, so this is a mod that kind of expands on Cud's whole, like, animated... Uh, the fact that you can animate any piece of furniture or any wall in the game and kind of turns it into, like, a little faction of, of creatures who go around animating uh, other creatures. And uh, they have their own little thing. This camp is theirs. How long have you been here? You seem tired. I see. <laughs> well, disgusting organic. I don't know if I have any supplies for them. But yeah, I think that is where you learn more about the quest. Which we do not necessarily want to go through uh, in the stream, because we want you guys to do that on your own. An animated object that has rebelled against its creator. What well, yeah. could this be about? <laughs> you could just talk to the animated weathered wood. Hello? What is hello? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess something happened here where they're all kind of like uh, gathering here, maybe? the With the world builder? Mm -hmm. Zone builder might not have been set up correctly. Well, that's fine. It, it happens. Sometimes things happen. 
with modding and, and all that. Um, oh, we're going to just go to the Mummified Ape from Troll Emperor. Hello. Oh, and there's a little pig, too. But I want to look at this mummified ape. Oh. Why did it go all the way there? Uh, oh. uh, press with F1 to unlock. Oh, there we go. All right. Well, that's a cool one. I like how he's smiling, though. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone, again, very friendly for the most part. Strange trinkets to its chest. Oh, he saved them from something. Can I talk to you? Are you alive? I don't think so. I think mum mummified implies dead. <laughs> yeah, it's got the the little trinkets, and it's and it's if you if you interact with it, it'll show the various little trinkets it's carrying. Ape tooth necklace. Rubber tree seed. What's the ape tooth ne necklace look like? Can I look at it? Uh, press B. Oh, there we go. An ancient scratch diamond in ensconced within. The light reflects off it strangely, and the smell of apes still inexplicably clings to it. Plus 150 rep with the apes. Uh, press enter, like, yeah. Click enter. Oh. oh. It's far older than the mummy who once held it, and no ape of such ilk has existed in many ages. Save perhaps the mighty or Borakuaru. Perhaps the misfortunate ape sought to deliver this relic as a gift to their god. Also, not too bad stats. For a tooth. Mm -hmm. And an olive green canteen. What can yeah, it mean? a fun little... Uh... What what could it mean? I really like the mods like this that just, you know, add a little something to kind of like flesh out the world. Yeah, like I would love this would be really cool to just like randomly encounter as you go along, which I guess was the whole point of the the prompt of the jam. So very good, very good uh, execution of the prompt. Yes. All right, so a man has fallen into the sacred well in the six day stilt. One more thing. Uh, go down one more. Mm. Uh, the wrecked mecca? No, go down again. Four sign vignette to spawn. Yes. Give Do me that a one. Sign. Um, and then. Uh, do the go to the six day still. The one from uh, Give Me a Sign hooks into basically whenever a sign is generated, it's going to add something to it. And that wish just increases the chance that the next sign that generates is going to have the stuff from that mod added to it to 100%. Oh. And this area always has lots of signs. So. That's a bat. It's a robot bat. It's a charge stealing bat. Oh. Very hard to deal with. Uh, so if you go back down to the path. Oh, there's a sign. Right, that's nine. Let's read the so, um, Yes, read that.
please give me a sign. <laughs> it is my best interpretation is that it's a play. Uh, um, when you when you um, like take a love injector, you can look at a sign and fall in love with it. So since you, if you if you look at your log, you picked up a. Um, you picked up it like there's an injector, like an empty injector. So I think it is likely that um, somebody fell in love with a sign. Mm. And like, that is the result of this. <laughs> the game also has an achievement for falling in love with a sign. Oh, amazing. He writes schematics. Oh. Let's keep going this way, I guess. Yes. Hello. Um, yeah, so... All sorts of hats. Yes. Yeah, this is the Six Day Stilt, which is kind of like a big merchant bazaar centered around a cathedral out in the northeast salt desert. And uh, if you, if you, uh, this is all kind of, you know, in the game. Um, if you head a bit to your left, you'll find kind of the main entrance to the cathedral. And if you head up through there, you oh. will find uh, something that has been added to this area by uh, a man has fallen into the sacred well at the Six Day Stilt. It, you, you went past it. Oh, over here? This, this, uh, over here. Yeah. Oh, another so sign. If you look at the sign, yeah. Watch your step. No, I don't. Oh, that's a well. Oh, I can throw stuff in the well. Yes. That's the sacred well. Should I talk to the person standing in front of the well? Perhaps? Uh, that is one person you could talk to, yeah. I don't think I don't think Eschelstadt has anything to say about this. Um, but if you go back down um, and then sort of at the little entrance area, you take a left back down to the entrance that you came in. Oh, this way? Right there. Yeah. Talk to the crypt sitter or, oh. you know, get the book either. That works. This person, this thing. Okay. Yes. Oh. This is the librarian of the stilt who always appears in uh, the game, but there's a new dialogue option here. What's with that sign over by the well? What is with that sign over by the well? Ah, yes, a terrible accident, that. I hear one of the pilgrims accidentally fell down the well. Fell into the well. My duty to the library keeps me busy, so I'm a little fuzzy on the details. I think Warden Esther led the rescue effort. If you want to know more, you can try speaking with them. Alternatively, there should be a book around here somewhere that details the events. Hmm. I think I saw that book. Perhaps. Record of events. The Pilgrim in the Well. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to get the warden. I like the idea that the preacher is just preaching louder to, like, avoid to mask the sounds of the screaming. Oh. So we need to probably find the uh, merchant that had that was uh, talking with them. Mm -hmm. 
Oh no, <laughs> that would be me too. <laughs> Except mine comes back. <laughs> oh, they're selling merch. Oh, and stuff to throw in at them. <laughs> oh no, and bricks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they seem to think adding a watch your step sign is enough. <laughs> We've all had something like this happen it's, in our lives, you know? Uh, yeah, you know, sometimes it's just, it's like getting caught in an elevator. It's like sort of the same thing. Hazare is saying you need a rappling co crane to get down to the well. If you want to look into it, you should talk to the warden. We don't want to give too much away, but if you think it's worth showing uh, down, we can try that. Or if you think it spoils too much, we can let the uh, curious modders play themselves. I think letting them find out what is down the well mm. is, is the move. It's something that players have always talked about in the game. Like, there's the sacred well, right? And you can throw items down it, and it gives you reputation. But if you use various means that are in the game to navigate yourself down to the strata below uh, where the sacred well is, there's just nothing there, at oh. least in the base game. Mm. You go down, and so what really is in the sacred well? It's not a question that the game answers. And I think this, this is a mod that's cool because it kind of, like, you know, explores that open-ended uh, space that the game has left. Yeah. Uh, and put something there for people to discover. Yeah, very cool. I love that idea of... Uh, I love that you're able to even do this in this game. It's already, like, super cool as is. Um, but yeah, I did, I did never made it, like, to this point in, the act in a real-life playthrough before, so I didn't realize that, but that's very cool. Um, but yeah, we encourage you to uh, figure out how to get to the bottom of the well yourselves and discover what's down there, because I think the modder did a good job with this one. Mm -hmm. I had a mild panic when I checked, and there was something there already, but it was just another mod I had installed. <laughs> Someone got there before, yeah. What if I throw the chair? Will it come back? I could throw the pistol. Could put, throw the car guts. Or the cup. Oh my god, you would throw the cup down the well? No, 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 no. That would be mean. Yeah, let's put the droid scambler down there, yeah. Oh, very good. <laughs> well, I hope it helps you. <laughs> No! <laughs> I'm not gonna throw the cup. Don't worry, Big Symbol. It's a precious item. I will never get rid of it. It's worth eight rep. Oh, now, now you're convincing me. Can we throw the cat down? I guess that would be mean too, right? I, I don't think that they traditionally accept living beings, you know, in the, with the exception of uh, accidents. Oh. I guess I really like the car guts. <laughs> it's far wor worth far more rep if you make friends with the Pope right there while holding the cup. Yeah, car guts, 400 reps, pretty good, right? Yeah, I'm sure whoever's down at the bottom of the well appreciated that one. <laughs> Uh, I guess that's uh, all the mods, right? We looked at all of them? Or was there I anything think, we I missed? I think there's a few more down at the bottom. There's the wrecked mecha, and there's the cask of wine. Oh, oh, right, right, right. I forgot. Freezing zone. Oh. This is cool, these tiles. Never... Yeah, it's the moon stair. Never seen those before. Is it this thing up it's here? It's a late... Yeah, those hexagonal things are uh, part of the moon stair, which is like a late 
game area. And this little compound that you're coming across now is what is added by this mod. Take oh. a look at the... Uh... The red robot? Yeah. yeah. The graffitied scrap mecha. An Ursherby suit of chrome. This contraption slays Templar. Let's go. The graffiti is scrawled across the surface. It reads, a most repulsive device. That's funny. I believe the that's graffiti... Like, that's randomly pulled from the text of the game, but it suits the... Uh, oh, I didn't, I didn't know it was Selected a very good one randomly. On. Yeah. Can I talk to you? <laughs> beep boop beep. If you go through those doors to the south, you'll find some other characters in this area. Oh, Barathamites. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, there you are. Okay. It's like a little kung fu Barathamite with a gi. How long have you lived out here? Ha! De years, decades maybe. Oh, you're not a Barathamite. Only a Baratham. And the tinkers around me. Oh. see what's going on with Gilda. An Urshib in motion. She never tops, stops turning and shifting, her mind traveling to a project on the other side of her workshop. Later with all types of scrap parts. Oh. Hated by the Buddhist Templar for digging up the remains of their ancestors. Gilda! What were and you doing? replicating their advancements. Oh. So normally the Templar are the only ones who have those mecha, the big pilotable robots. Uh, but Gilda over here, she's she, you wouldn't illegally download a temple mecha, <laughs> would you? <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not. Gilda would. Um, is the robot something like... I guess the robot is the thing out there, right? Was the, What was she made? Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Is this anything? Oh. Oh. Yeah, she's got several mechs and things. Yeah, the Moonstair is typically a very dangerous and hostile place. Um with only really one group of of villagers uh, that aren't, you know, randomly procedurally generated who consistently always live there, um, the, the tree of life. So it's cool to see another little, like, thing that can randomly appear in this area. Those trees are glitching out. They're pretty cool. I guess they're fake trees. They're glitchy trees. Yeah, they're glitchwood trees. Yeah, this is very cool. I'm glad that the mods will take me here because my own game knowledge and power will never get me here. Not to, with a lot of practice. Very cool. I like Gilda. And then we have the cask of wine. So this one, you run the wish and it'll force it to spawn. And now the next zone that you enter that's underground will have the uh the thing from this mod generated it only generates underground so you'll oh. have to find a way to get underground one option is using the jopa recoiler you have and then um entering the waterlogged tunnel through the crack did i throw that in the well i might have i think 
do that in the well. Oh, uh -huh. oh no, there it is. <laughs> oh, I just oh. need to sell for it. Yes, You've you got still. Some. Yeah, you still have some nuclear cells. Huzzah! So, where was the stairs to go down? Uh, go, up... go over to that water up in the top left. There you go. The, there's the crack. You see the uh, the crack that's appeared? Yes. Go down. Why can't I do this? What button do I press that's to go down? Plus. Down on the numpad, right? Oh. A plus on the numpad? Plus on the numpad. There we go. Okay. Where's the wine? You can press zero to explore on the numpad. Oh, I, I think, think that might be it. Yeah. yeah. That little perfectly square uh, set of walls down both to the south of you. I believe you can still walk through walls. Yeah. Oh, this thing right um, here? Yeah, take a look. Hummus? Are you sure? Yeah, hummus. so if you... Uh, if Hummus with one M is like the dirty stuff oh not not the <laughs> not the dip <laughs> but that's not the wine take a uh, look at the press uh go over the cell and then press g oh someone's last words have been scratched onto it read. looks like you can read Oh no, they killed Fernando! Fernando. The consortium doesn't want you to know. Oh, it rhymes! So I think... I think this mod is a, a riff on the, uh, the cask of Amontillado. Oh, yes! The, uh, the foamcrete wall that is surrounding this etched pottery. Foamcrete... There's an item that you can get called a portable wall. When you use it, it allows you to uh, place up to eight tiles of wall. So this kind of vignette that's set up here is that some some poor plant learned this secret gossip that they etched inside their uh, plant pot. And uh, for their crimes, they were encased. Oh. So that would have, that's something that would, again, appear randomly, but it would appear in some sort of underground, boxed-in situation. Is yeah. what would spawn, right? Yeah. Neat. Very yeah, cool. and that little bit of gossip that got recorded in your journal when you looked at the etched pottery about uh, the the disproving of a famous theorem is something that you could trade with other uh, characters in the game as a valuable piece of gossip that oh. it would increase your reputation if you told them about this. Can I read this or is it's it just a cool whatever? Little, uh, it's just what it says, but it's mm. a cool little mechanical aspect to finding the uh, the vignette. Yeah, I guess that's one of like the downsides of showing off the mods in this way, is if like you're normally just playing with the mods, then you'll just like encounter these things more naturally than than like forcing the spawn, so to speak. Yeah. Which is kind but of again, we would the be point. here all day <laughs> if we tried to just find them all randomly on a live stream. Oh yeah, for sure. It's, it's I guess it's like the spirit of the mod jam is kinda like requires you to have like that just stumbling upon cool thing uh effect but yeah this was awesome uh y'all did it like this was so creative i think that like the the first mod jam was really cool because there was like a lot of really interesting creative sprite work or i guess they're tiles in this they're not sprites uh mm -hmm. but um but this was like, okay, now that we've done like some of the tile stuff, let's let's see what we can do within the world, which I think was really cool. 
Yeah, I'm really impressed by everyone's entries. It was like super fantastic. Yeah, amazing job, y'all. Um, so that was the uh, the end of the of the stream. We were kind of we wrap it up. Any any final thoughts? I'm trying to see which one was my favorite. I don't want to give favorites. I mean, the chair is definitely what like a standout for sure. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus the Rex. The chair is very funny. Very funny. The cat pistol was very cool. Like, all these were really awesome. The casino level, very interesting. Mummified ape. Yeah, like, all these. Amazing job. The cup. Yeah, I would definitely recommend everyone to, uh, to download the mod pack for yourself or download the particular mods that seem the most interesting to you and... Uh, play with them a bit and especially check out the quest ones that we didn't mm -hmm. go into in full detail on the stream we just kind of teased them but uh take a look through those for yourself and see what they have for you to discover i'll post the link because uh, uh unfortunately our bot wasn't working today but um if you go to the itch page so i'm gonna link here uh you can download the mod or it's integrated also into steam workshop if you prefer to do it that way and it's really easy to There's use also there's also a link to the Steam Workshop mod on the, the page that you linked. Yeah, yeah. Let's check it out. Um, and if y'all want to learn about our next Cud, Cud Jam, whenever it happens, the Kit Fox Discord is always a good place for that, or the Caves of Cud Discord. We kind of try and keep the information in both of those places. Um, I'm sure y'all yes. are in those places already, but uh, I guess I'll just I'll drop the links just in case. Yeah, thanks for having us on the stream and uh, and and using the the Kid Fox channel to show off all this cool stuff that everyone has done. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you for organizing. This really is was all uh, your your effort of organizing. So it, I'm sure it's not one of those things that's super easy to. To put together and uh, taking the time to do that, I think is really, really awesome. Um, that's the Kit Fox Discord. I just noticed the Caves of Cud banner on the Discord is very. I didn't notice that before, but it's a very radical animal with cool <laughs> hair. Very cool. And like I said, I think next time I'm really, if if the timing works out, I would really love to also participate this time around. And I am a complete newbie at any sort of modding. Um, there's the cut Discord. Awesome. Hi, Mad Irish Man. Thanks for the raid. We were actually just about ending too, um, but maybe we can like combine our powers and uh, send the folks somewhere else. I don't know if anyone else is streaming cut, but we could see. But yeah, uh, but thank you so much, everyone, for for joining us, and uh, thank you, Lou and Ray, for joining me this evening to go through everything. And uh, let's see, yeah, let's see if we can find someone to send any requests, any cool yeah, folks. Yeah, thanks for having you? us. Yeah, of course. It's always so much fun looking at these. Let's see. Looks like we're the only one uh, oh. screaming caves of cut right now. We can also just bless a person with like a low viewer account and surprise them, uh, or we can what, send people to blind IRLs playing some door fortress, or maybe someone else is playing door fortress that we can bless. Oh, this is an interesting. Let's learn door fortress. They're a queer friendly sort of uh what is this a walrus that sounds interesting let's send yeah. let's let's send them to the walrus blind playing df say it isn't so blind teleport is... to walrus teleport to walrus everyone and then for the next mod i will make a walrus <laughs> Oh, what did I do? Raid. Ooh, Garza. That's like very, very cud. All right. Thank you all. Make sure to, to give your love to the walrus. And we'll see you for the next mod jam sometime in the near future. Oh, yeah. Yeah.
Coming soon to a cave near you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, y'all.